Hello and welcome to the United Devils YouTube channel. As you're all aware, it was announced yesterday that Manchester United have reached an agreement with Shanghai to extend the loan deal for Odin Ogalo until the 31st of January 2021. So his deal was originally meant to expire in May of this year, however the two clubs have agreed to extend it for an additional half a season. In this video I'll be discussing whether this is in fact the best deal for Manchester United. Just on a quick side note before we start, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel where we post weekly podcasts on Manchester United, along with regular news updates. Right, so let's begin. Starting with Odin Agalo, Manchester United signed him in January 2020, and since then he scored four goals and got one assist in eight appearances for the club. In our last game before football was suspended, Igalo started in the Europa League tie against LASK, where he scored a perfectly executed goal and registered an assist. His loan deal was set to expire on the 31st of May, but Manchester United managed to negotiate with his current club, meaning that we can retain his services until January of next year. Since taking a massive pay cut to join us, uh, Igalo has become quite the fan favourite. His love and passion for the club is evident and many Manchester United fans are wanting to retain his services based on this. There was talk originally of Shanghai wanting £20 million for us to sign him on a permanent basis, but the two clubs must have concluded that an extended loan deal is the best way to go. I mean, I can't have seen us spending £20 million on a player of his age. And in all honesty, he's not the sort of striker we want to be leading our line for a title winning season. But uh, apparently at the end of his loan deal, Igalo is expected to sign a new contract at Shanghai worth around £75 million in total. So quite a few United fans have been happy with this uh, contract extension, but I know a lot of people haven't been too. So, and from what I can gather, this is predominantly for two reasons. Firstly, this extension means that Igalo would leave halfway through next season, and I think people have the understanding that this would disrupt the squad and leave us without a backup striker for the second half of the season. Um, in addition, it's also quite difficult to sign a striker in January, and if we are struck with an injury crisis like we have been this season, it will show that we're pretty desperate and the clubs will take advantage of that in the transfer market, so it might be difficult to get a player next January. The second reason, I think, is that people are saying Igalo is not good enough for Manchester United. So his love for the club is undoubted, and we all really, really do like that about him, but the truth is that we're fighting to be back at the top spot where we belong, and we need to sign the best players in their respective positions. And the unfortunate truth is that Odin Igalo is not a world-class striker, and he is not the striker that will be leading us to our 21st title. So there is a worry now that we have retained Igalo's services, that Manchester United will not be looking to sign another striker in this window. So this summer it's pretty clear that there are so many viable options out there which we could sign. Um, in the last month alone we've been linked to players such as Raul Jimenez, Timo Werner, Musa Dembele and Joshua King again. Um, yesterday I saw something quite funny actually about Manchester United wanting to sign Raheem Sterling but that, I just laughed that off because it would be bizarre to even give this rumour an ounce of consideration. It's just not going to happen. There's no more to be said on that really. But looking at other options, some of these do seem within our reach and could be useful for the club. Let's start with Raul Jimenez. He is Premier League proven and that is quite important because it will mean that he won't need as much time to settle in and get used to the physical element of the Premier League. He has 13 goals and 6 assists in the Premier League so far this season and he's always proved to be a challenge for defenders. Annoyingly, he does always seem to put in a good shift against Manchester United too and he's probably the main reason we do consider Wolves to be our bogey team. It's pretty clear that he's not a long-term solution, as he's already 29 years old and probably only has another good few seasons left in him. But he has been great for Wolves, and I don't really think any United fans would be complaining if we did sign him. The next option I want to consider is Timo Werner. So this is considered to be quite controversial. So despite his 60 million euro release clause, there are reports suggesting that he'd rather go to Liverpool than Manchester United, but Liverpool aren't really willing to pay that much to sign him. I mean, I personally don't think 60 million euros is that much uh, for a player of his calibre, but I guess given the current situation we find ourselves in with the coronavirus and the fact that many players' prices are going to be going down, I think Liverpool aren't willing to spend that amount. So the thing that's getting United fans quite concerned is that we, if we do sign him, we're signing a player that maybe deep down wanted to play for our biggest rivals, which could be disheartening for some fans. But one thing is undisputed. He is a quality striker. 
31 goals and 12 assists in 40 appearances this season. Those stats speak for themselves. He's a world-class striker and would even be a long-term signing as he's only 24 years old. I personally think it's a no-brainer. We should trigger that release clause and get him in a United shirt as soon as possible. He is a top player and one that is likely to leave his current club, Leipzig, this season. Another player we've been linked with recently is Moussa Dembele, another potential long-term signing. He's currently 23 years old and playing for Lyon in the French League. He's got 22 goals and 7 assists to his name this season, and reports have been floating around for a while now that we're quite interested in the Frenchman. I think back when he was at Celtic, there were even reports we were going to sign him back then a few years ago, so it's definitely one to be considered. The last player is Josh King, and if I'm honest, I wouldn't even consider him right now. I'd much rather Regalo at the club. There was talk of us signing him in January, and I think that was mainly due to him being a product of our academy, but then Bournemouth wouldn't budge on the asking price, and we signed Igalo on loan instead. I personally think we got quite lucky with that deal, as I think Igalo has been a great signing for us. But overall, I think it's pretty clear that there are a lot of options out there, and most of them are better than Igalo. But the question is whether we actually sign anyone else. It's pretty clear we can afford to, even if we do sign Sancho, but realistically I can't see us signing another striker this summer now. So reports are suggesting that we are still in the market for one, but with Martial, Igalo, Greenwood, I don't see Solskjaer treating it as a priority. Plus, if we did sign another striker, it would mean that Igalo would barely get a game next season, which wouldn't really make sense considering the fact that we extended his loan deal so he is available for half of next season. Uh, but I think the bigger problem is that Greenwood's progress could be halted as a result of this. Mason Greenwood is a generational talent, and I can't wait to see him get even more chances next season. I personally think that it was the wrong decision to retain Igalo's services until the end of January 2021. I get keeping him until the end of the current season, as he is a useful option, especially as we'll have so many games in quick succession. He does provide a different threat in the box compared to Martial and Rashford. Um, but keeping him beyond the end of this season kind of hinders our chances of signing another top quality striker, which we do desperately need. As much as I love the player, I don't think keeping him on for another half season is beneficial for the club. But then again, that is just my opinion. We would love to hear your opinions on the situation, so please do leave a, leave a comment below with what you think. Thank you for listening. Please like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, we will be posting content like this more frequently.